Italy is shutting cinemas, swimming pools and gyms from Monday in a further attempt to curb the rapid rise in coronavirus infections. Here's a summary of the article. Spain on Sunday agreed a nationwide, state of alarm, which provides the legal basis for regions to impose tighter measures. Italy's measures were agreed between Prime Minister Giuseppe Conte and regional leaders. Under the new measures, the bulk of secondary school teaching will be conducted online instead of in the classroom. The Italian move comes amid demonstrations in Naples, and then Rome, against stricter coronavirus measures. The latest measure agreed by Spain's socialist government, with the backing of the centre-right Quitadanos and separatist parties from the Basque country and Catalonia, imposes a nationwide curfew between 2300 local time and 6 o'clock, Spanish media report. The state of alarm, which allows for the curfew and other measures, will be in force for 15 days. The same level of emergency was introduced during the first wave of the pandemic in April. This post received a score of 67,000, with an upvote ratio of 89%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Thumbnail as of a guy not wearing his mask over his nose. Very annoying, I've seen some PPL just wear it on their chin and start coughing. These people annoy TF out of me. As a teacher who teaches high school, I had two kids take their face mask off to cough and sneeze. What the fuck, you disgusting teenagers. I love my students, I promise, but what the fuck. I'm an educational assistant in a high school. I had a student take his off to cough in my face when I asked him to follow social distancing rules. That's assault, FYI. Thank you FBI agent. They're right. And it was considered assault even before COVID. Unless you are the president. Then you can take off your mask and be typhoid Mary with impunity. I'm from Italy, precisely from Bergamo, and we did see it coming but we didn't do anything. I work for a delivery service in Bergamo and I see every day a lot of people not wearing masks, no distinction in old or young people, bus train being packed and the city street being as crowded as ever. I know we didn't learn anything from the first wave. I hope we will not be hit as hard as in March, but our hospitals are becoming to fill up, people are lined up at the entrance, with at least 40% of them being positive, so I frankly don't know how this will evolve. In Switzerland, we watched what happened in Italy, in Ticino. We're going to hit 10k cases in the next week, two weeks. Yesterday we saw restaurants, the downtown packed, everyone with no masks. Winter 2020 is going to suck. Most regions in Switzerland didn't have a mask mandate from what my mom told me and from what I've seen. You guys actually had it somewhat under control until a week ago where cases went into four digits for the first time. Switzerland's way of handling this crisis is an abomination. They now have the highest infection rate per 100k in the entire world. And they're surprised how could this come to this judging by the laissez-faire attitudes of people and government institutions. Greater than they now have the highest infection rate per 100k in the entire world. This is completely false. They are number 46 in total positive cases per 1 million residents. Where did you get that information? Source. The data is from a Swiss newspaper. Last 7-day average per 100k. Front page. If the data is compiled by combining the individual cantons' data, it's unusable. For small cantons like Appenzell the average per 100k is just not painting the real picture. Not saying the data is compiled that way winking face, the situation is shit anyway though. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.